everyone, Miss O'Connor here. I'm here to teach you how to do a portrait of your mother. And it's going to be a special present for Mother's Day. So you'll have to find somebody in your house to help you, but not your mom, because it's going to be a surprise picture. We're going to learn how to draw a figure, which is going to be your mom. So we'll learn all the parts of the body, how to draw them. And we're going to dress her up the, in any way you like, that maybe the way she usually dresses. You can think about things that she likes to wear and you can think about things she likes to do. Maybe you could put some things, special things in the picture that she likes. Like she might like flowers or she might like going running or maybe she, she likes knitting or she has a special pet or maybe you could be in the picture too with her, whatever you like. So I'm going to come back and we're going to start with drawing with pencil and then we're going to do a painting. I'm going to show you how to use acrylic paint. Hi, I'm back. I've got everything here for doing the drawing. My pencil. I've got a picture of my mom. She's the one in the middle there. This is an old picture and she's walking on the beach. And I've got some nice paper. You can use any kind of paper for this. It's kind of our practice drawing and later we'll be doing another drawing for our painting. I'm going to start by doing the head. I'm going to make a nice oval shape. And remember, you can do your drawing any way you like. You don't have to do it the way other people do their drawings. And I just put two little lines to show where the neck is. Everyone has a little neck. And then I'm going to make a sort of a square shape for the upper body and a little rectangle for the waist. have legs. So legs can be, you can start with sticks. Sometimes the legs are bent to the knee. And I'm gonna, if you wanna make it look like they have some pants on, you can put two sides. Now I'm gonna put the feet on, five little toes and the other foot. And I'm gonna put the other arm now. And her hand is just a simple shape. I'm gonna add some fingers. Remember you can, Make your drawing in your own style. And your mom will just love it because she loves everything you do yourself. I'm gonna put the face on, put two eyes right in the middle of the, of the head and two dots in the middle. I put a little curved nose and a big curved smile. Now she needs some hair. What kind of hair does your mom have? I'm making my hair wavy and thick. Does your mom have straight hair or curly hair? Does she have bangs or does she have short hair? Think about that. I'm going to put some clothes on now. My mom was wearing a long flowery dress. Think about what your mom likes to wear and you can dress her up in what she likes. Maybe she likes wearing dresses or maybe she likes to wear jeans or I don't know what. So I'm just erasing some of the lines inside the body so I can decorate my dress with flowers. I'm doing some curvy lines with dots in the middle. Now I'm ready to paint my drawing. I've got my watercolor set out and I've got some brushes. And here's a new set of brushes I got. It's all different sizes. Watercolor brushes are usually soft brushes that made out of hair. I'm going to start with getting some water and mixing a puddle of color. I'm going to use some blue. There's two different kinds of blue here. That's always fun to, to, to check out all the different shades that you have in your kit. I'm going to add some water and spread it out so it looks really watery. I'm going to add a little bit of green in the water because sometimes water is a bit greenish. I'm just spreading it around. Now I'm going to paint the dress. I think a nice bright red dress would look good because that's my mom's favorite color. It's your mom's favorite color. Maybe you'll be painting her clothes in her favorite color. So just about done the dress and I'm going to make some yellow flowers now on her dress. There they come. 
when the yellow mixes with the red, it, it makes it look a little bit orangey too. It's kind of fun to see what the colors will do. I'm mixing up a nice kind of a dark brown for her hair. She has dark brown hair. What color is your mom's hair? Is it brown? Is it blonde? Is it black? Is it kind of whitish? There's all kinds of colors it could be. Some people even have purple hair. Now I'm getting this um, plastic lid that I saved for my palette to mix up kind of a skin tone. And I've made this skin with a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. Sometimes I add a little bit of brown and lots of water so it's not too dark or too thick. Still want to see where the eyes are. I'm going to add some details now. Put a nice mouth. And oops, sometimes it wants to bleed and kind of spread out. You'll notice that when you're trying to paint details. So look what I'm using my paper towel as a dabber. And that's what I call the eraser for watercolors. If you ever have a puddle of color you don't like, you have to quickly press a paper towel or a Kleenex on it and it'll pick it up. Now I'm making my shells purple. And I'm going to make a nice beach color under the feet. It's kind of a yellowish sandy color. I really like it. The yellow ochre, I think they call it. And I'm going to put a nice yellow, bright yellow sun to make it nice and sunny and warm out. Because it's really nice to be at the beach when it's warm. And I'm gonna, my mom really likes flowers, so I'm going to put some crocuses in the picture. I'm going to show you how to do a painting with acrylics. I have a nice canvas board here that I got from the dollar store. It's about five by seven inches and we're going to start by painting the whole thing with two colors. I have a recycled lid here for putting my paint colors on so I'm going to pick blue and white to be my base colors just for the background because it's really hard. I've got some bristle brushes they're a little bit stiffer than the watercolor brushes. They're really good for using with thick acrylic paint. It's a lot different than watercolor. So I'm just gonna cover this whole, I have a wet brush, and I'm gonna cover this whole canvas with blue and white, mixing it together right on the canvas. And you can have your brush strokes going every which way. I'm gonna try and cover the whole thing Without leaving any spots. Get a bit more blue so I can make some dark areas too. This is kind of a nice sky blue that I'm making. It's fun to see what colors will, will do when you add white to it. It usually brightens it up. There we go, all done. Now we've let that dry. It takes about five minutes or 10 minutes for it to dry. And you're ready, I'm ready to draw my mom on top now. I'm gonna do an oval shape for the head and a little neck. And then I'm gonna draw the body shape, the arms just like sticks and the legs like sticks to start. You have to be careful that you keep the shapes nice and simple because when you paint with acrylics, it's hard to do the details. You gotta do the big shapes first. So I'm putting on five fingers on each side and I'm going to draw on the little feet here, all the toes, and I'm ready to draw the eyes. I'm just going to make two dots, a little curve, and a smile. Next is the wavy hair. Put that on. There we go. And now to put the wavy water in and the sun. I don't have to put too many details. Lots of times I add things just with my paint. So you just want to put the basic shapes down. I'm going to put a few shells because my mom loves collecting shells. 
and I'm ready to add some color now. Get my palette. I'm going to put a selection of colors. You don't need too much, just a little plop each of each color. Careful of the mess of acrylic paints. Sometimes too much comes out and I have to wipe it up with a paper towel. And even you can be wearing your paint shirt or an apron when you're painting. Because this kind of paint is really hard to get out of clothes. So it's good to know that. If you do get a bit on your clothes, getting it out with soap and water usually works. But once it's dry, it's, it's hard to get out. So I've almost got all the colors I need now. Let's see a little bit of this, two kinds of red. And I'm gonna get my brush to start making that. I like to start with the skin tone because everything else goes on top. The clothes goes on top and the face goes on top. So I'm gonna make a nice brown skin for my painting. I made two skin tones there. I've got a peachy one that I made with yellow, red, and white. And now I'm making a darker tone skin with yellow, red, and brown mixed. Fill in the whole face area and then I'm going to let it dry a bit before I put on the eyes and the mouth. I'm going to get another brush now. If you can change brushes when you're changing colors, that keeps your colors nice and bright. So I'm going to do the dress, a nice bright red, and add a little bit of white. That really brightens it up. Almost becomes a pink dress, pinkish dress. That looks really nice. And then I'm going to change colors. I'm going to clean my brush off really well by putting it in the water jar and then wiping it with my paper towel to make sure all the colors out. I'm going to mix up a nice dark purplish color now. I mixed red and blue and white to make this purple. Doing my flower and doing my shells. I'm going to go and take some of this brown now and get her arms done. I try to use the skinny tip of my brush to do the fingers. That's a bit tricky. And I'm going to get a little bit of black paint for her hair. You can think about what color hair you're going to do your mom. Does she have black hair? Or is it brown? Or is it blonde? Mix up a bit more of the skin tone for the feet and the legs. She's walking on the beach with bare feet. I like doing that in the summer when it's warm. I clean my brush off again and I'm going to put the nice wavy blue lines. I'm going to use different kinds of blue. I'm going to add some white on. Sometimes there's white on top of the crashing waves at the beach called the white caps. And a nice sunny sun. Sometimes the, the paints are a little bit thin and when it goes on top of the blue the yellow looks a little bit green. So I'm going to wait for that to dry and put another layer of yellow and white on top. This white makes things nice. And... So to do the eyes I use the back of my paintbrush and I'm going to do the nose too. Just a little tiny nose and I use the back of my paintbrush like it's a printing stick and a nice little smile with a skinny skinny brush. Next, I'm going to put some nice polka dots on her dress. I can start getting some details and I can start having some fun with color. I'm going to put some green on for the stem of my crocus. And what else am I going to do? I'm going to clean my brush, put a little bit of white up in the sky. Maybe I'll make a little bird up in the sky. You can kind of think of things as you go. What would your mom like to have in her picture? What special things would you like to put there? I'm going to add a bit of white up into the sun. Just a bit more yellow to brighten it up. There we go. Now it looks really shiny.
I added some more details. Can you see how many things I added into this picture? Here's some fun paintings from other kindergarten students painting their moms. I think they did a very good job. This one looks very happy. I see there's five fingers. I hope you have fun painting your mom too. Have a great day.